Oh yeah. So over the pandemic period, I've learned how to make videos and it's really nice. Um, I've heard because if you miss something, if I talk too fast, you can go back and view the video over and over again. So here's a here's our pandemic special. Um, long may the pandemic come to an end. I was talking with somebody at the grocery store yesterday um, and it's been almost two years since that big rush on toilet paper. Um, so anyway, what I did is I wrote down the, the question that you, you had um, and I've de-identified everything. So the libraries um, were not allowed to give out personal information or identify who's researching what. So this is all de-identified. Um, so search and locate needed evidence. And your research question is comparing two therapies for people being treated for substance use. And you have a good word here, sobriety, which is used in, was used traditionally in alcohol, but now it's used in like um, the measurement of whether somebody is um, effective at getting rid of um, addiction. I, I did not put that eloquently. Um, and then find two articles, summarize them and talk about that. So first we'll do this one. And then I'll give you some tips along the way of how you can summarize them and talk about how they work. First thing, um, I, had, I hadn't heard of MRT, um, so I had to look that up. Moral Reconation Therapy. It doesn't sound right. Uh, I've never heard of um, conation, reconation, but it must be the real deal because it's talking about prison populations. So that must be a good one. Um, so we have the acronym and we have that spelled out. And we know it's not mitochondrial replacement therapy, which is genetics. So armed with the name of our, uh, our acronyms, I've heard of CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. So let me show you my tricks for putting this together. And I, there's a method to my madness why I put out that whole paragraph. In classes like this, especially with an intervention, especially with counseling, we look a lot to psychology. So I think the easiest place to start with um, would, will be psychology. So let's go to a psychology database. You could look those up in the library catalog, but that's going to be looking in databases all over the social sciences and maybe even elsewhere. But let's go to a psychology database. So from the library homepage, if you haven't logged in yet, you know that you have to do this login up here where you have to say you're off campus. Otherwise you might get, you might get um, requests for logins or things like that. If you know the name of the database, you can go there, but you can also go by topic. So I'll go down to psychology. And one of the favorites in the College of Social Work is PsychInfo from the APA. And it's great for stuff like this. So we're looking in uh, psychologists, psychology, Grad students, psychology practitioners, psychology professors are all doing experimentations all the time with different populations and different therapies and different outcomes and things like that. And they're publishing their research and their methodology and all those sorts of things. And so instead of throwing in a bunch of keywords, we can systematically put this together in the advanced search and look for each chunk. That'll make sense in a second. So our first chunk. Might be our population, might be the intervention. I'm not sure that it matters. I don't think it prioritizes it if you have one line or another, but I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. Okay, so these are the, the keywords that we can use. So let's go back. Um, MRT or CBT. So let's do um, MRT or Magnetic resonance, in, oh, that's MRI. <laughs> what? Moral reconation therapy. Before we do anything else, yeah, it's having problems with reconation too. Before we do anything else, let's do a search just for that. Since I hadn't heard of it before, doesn't mean it doesn't exist, but uh, before we throw a bunch of other things in there, let's look for that one and see how many there are. 
CBT, I know there's tons and tons and tons. Moral reconnection. Oh, 530. Great. So we, we know that it's, it's a thing. That's, we've tested that. That's really good. Okay, let's go back. Now, there's only 530. And when I say there's only 530, if we looked for CBT, there would probably be like tens of thousands. Nothing to be um, we're wary about, uh, but it might mean that we can't look for MRT and CBT in the same article. We'll probably have to look at them separately. And if there was a practitioner or a professor, researcher, that was um, looking at these things, they probably wouldn't go to the trouble to create a huge methodology and test both of them at the same time. But what you could do to test that, MRT or moral reclamation therapy, and then you could do and CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy. Why do I put it in quotes? Some of the databases, including this one, like it if you put quotes on there because then it'll search for cognitive behavioral therapy in a chunk altogether instead of cognitive behavioral therapy there. So if we tried to find an article, article with both of those, it's going to be less than 530. Awkward silence. My internet is slow. There's only 13 to go from. First recommendation that I have for you then is find an article that talks about MRT and the population and the, the, uh, what the population is working in, um, so substance abuse. And then do it over again and do it with CBT. And that's how you'll find the two articles. So let's do the um, MRT first. Oh, and why I put the or is because we don't know if it's MRT or moral reclamation therapy. Okay, next thing, let's put in our population that we're studying. That would be, okay, so we have adults being treated for substance use. So let's just, before we put in adults, let's look at the substance abuse. Substance use or substance abuse. And then look at all these other ones that they suggest. They don't put in the uh, quote marks, but you can get other ideas. Drug use, drug abuse, dependence. Not drug use. Drug use. Or dependence or addiction. So if we don't know the exact name of this, my dog is getting growly at the neighbor kids next door. Sorry about that. So is anyone using moral reconnation ther um, therapy in this particular treatment? That's our next question. Oh, Saki. Seventeen. Um, if we add adult, what's going to happen? So from these seventeen, it has it has MRT, it has substance use, and all that. What happens if we narrow it down and say it, it can only be adults? That might narrow it too far. Let's see what happens. There's nine. <laughs> that is so few articles. Um, so you get to decide. Do you want to look at just the 17 or the nine? Um, you get to decide. Um, <laughs> how would you do the other one? You would just go up in those same ones. It doesn't matter if it's caps or not. Or cognitive. Oh, I want to get my quotes. I'm just going to put quotes on the one that they already have instead of making you suffer through my typing. Okay, same search. 
except a different intervention. And there's going to be way more. How many more? I, if, I, if I knew things like that, I'd be good at, at gambling in Las Vegas. 1,125. For this one, um, since you're comparing them, I would say try and find something that's been more recent. So you can see down on the left here, there is um, a timeline slider. I have a hard time believing CBT goes back to 1981, but there you go. But we can um, use the slider to come up to the most recent, like 10 years or so, or most recent five years. You get to decide. And your instructor may have given criteria for that as well. So we can get, when we have the luxury of having a thousand articles, we can narrow it down to the ones that have just been recently published. So there's still 300. What you can do with this also um, is you have the luxury of going through PDF full text. If you run into something that's not full text, um, it'll have this right here. It'll say, well, I want to see this, but there's no full text. So you, 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 uh, if you click on this view it button, same thing as when you go into the record to see the abstract. When you look for that view it button, it'll help you find it in another database. So here's the view it again. View it. Are you taking me there? It'll put you into the library catalog, which is that main library web search. And you can get full text there. Since you're on a tough timeline, I would say really try to find that full text first um, then digging around for the other things so look for something that says pdf right there or html full text right there because you know, it gets stuck oh my gosh our library catalog went down or the web page went down and things have been just poking along really slowly since that time Well, okay, imagine if you will, at this point, a list of databases and you would just click on the database um, and then it would send you hopefully to that article. Um, I'll stay, I'll check email tonight. So if you run stuck with something and you really want that article, um, I'll try and track it down for you. Currently not working though. Um, okay, how do we tell if, um, how do we compare? We wanna summarize them and talk about how they do or do not address the research question. Well, when you are a scholar and you want to have an article published, you have to negotiate with a, a journal. So the journal in this one being Addictive Behaviors, um, you have to negotiate with them and you have to say, this is what I want to write about. When they have that proposal, the most important thing is um, the title. They're going to boil it down so you can tell kind of generically what the whole thing is about. So we have like um, maladaptive cognitions. Maybe that's like how you cope with something. Um, but this looks like it's about gambling and not, so this is maybe like gambling addiction or internet gaming right here. So the, that's probably not the right way to go, but um, bear with me. The title will be really, really helpful. The second thing, is for an abstract, they typically have a fixed amount of time or words that they can use to tell you what the main point of the article is. So for this one, you could just grab quotes off of this to compare. So here they even have a statement right here. Cog CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Interventions, um, related to gaming may be more effective than general approaches that focus only on the preoccupation with games. There they told you what their, their thesis statement essentially is. Um, but if you go through this, it'll tell you a lot. Let's go back and let's, let's test our MRT one, see if we can find one. So we know there's going to be a lot to pick from, from CBT. Actually, it might be better that we have very few. So maybe addiction isn't, isn't a good one. Maybe we just want substance abuse or substance use. Oh, look at that. There they have the compare different one. Well, shut my mouth. Well, if you can't find one that talks about MRT, um, you might have to find those two different ones. 
So mindfulness, part of CBT, going back to MRT. I'm trying not to be frightened by the huge text. It feels like my internet connection is just hanging on by its fingernails. Okay, here we go. So here we're looking at moral reconnection therapy. So, okay, so here's alcohol use. So we know what they're looking at. So here's one in German. There's drug courts. Oh, here's an interesting thing. There's dissertations and theses. This is something somebody used to um, defend their PhD um, defense, as it were. So look for the ones that just say academic journal. Uh, okay, so here's cocaine. This one I'm not quite sure. If you're not quite sure, just keep on moving on. Human adolescence, eye movements. Oh, drug and alcohol offenders. So these aren't people who are self-identifying as a substance abuser. These are people who have been identified by some external force, in this case, the law. Um, so the court system, um, things like that. Effects of the reasoning. So this wouldn't be too bad. You would just have to go through the beginnings of a couple of articles um, and maybe get into the full text and see what the first page or maybe what the, the conclusion is. Um, and then you should be ready to go. Four, 40 incarcerated drunk drivers and drug offenders were treated with moral reconnection therapy. Oh, look at that. Enhancement of positive ego. So it even describes it as well. Okay, this is how I would go. Um, so this one has a view it. Let's see if we can get this to work this time, since I didn't do it, but didn't work before. Because <laughs> that looked like a good one. Oh, it feels like it's about to happen. Yay! <laughs> oh. I'm so pleased. I had to look up something on Monday and it took like 10 minutes. Oh, what do we do when it says no full text available? Um, no, it's in the, there's all sorts of places to go. You could request it from interlibrary loan, but that's not going to happen tonight. Let me show you my one last trick. Um, we got to get, we have to get the title. Um, so if it says no full text available, we don't give up. We go to Google. So in Google, again, I'm going to put it in quotes. And I'm going to get rid of all this. I'm just going to look for that title. Do you remember we wanted all the text to stick together? If you have just the title of an article in quotes, that's such an exotic combination that statistically, only that article should exist out on the open web we wouldn't get like 10 billion results. So let's Google that. Hey, look at this. PubMed, National Institute of Health. Oh, I see why it's no full text, because it's from 1989. Be that as it may, I think the methodology will still be solid. But if you're logged into the library homepage, if you go to these links, um, depending on what you're looking for or what, what time it was published, it might exist there. And you should be able to have access to it. So there's the abstract again, but I saw full text somewhere. Full text links to Sage journals. Dare I think that it might be there? Or is it going to ask me for 38 bucks? Normally you could ask this for interlibrary loan. But right now we're kind of at the whim of our um, whatever is available out on open web. Uh, oh, access options. <laughs> and there's a lock. Okay. So your task, I would say, is find one that's full text. For CBT, no problem at all. For MRT, you, you may have to settle. 
But I would say um, get rid of, where were we? Get rid of adult. And that'll give you a lot more options. Okay, let me know how it goes. I'll keep my eye on email um, and I help you as, as I can um, as you go. But it, I think you're set. I don't think this should be too hard.